What is it actually like to work in research? Do scientists just work alone and get isolated in the lab? Is it all about breakthroughs? Do we get new discoveries every day? Hi guys and welcome to my video on the reality versus expectations when working in research. When mentioning lab work, people always think about these cool experiments, coloured chemicals, perfect results. Well, is that really the case? My answer is no. You'd expect that you set up an experiment, you follow the steps, and instantly you get perfect results. The reality is, most of the time, experiments don't work the first time, or the second, or even the third. So you end up troubleshooting, repeating steps, and asking yourself, how can I make it work better? Well, you'll then continue to perform more experiments with adjustments for trial and error. And obviously, these take time and effort, so it could make you feel a bit mentally exhausted sometimes. This was honestly the biggest shock I had when when I first entered the field because during undergraduate studies everything worked perfectly every single experiment they all ended up with happy endings and perfect results so I was like what is happening is this really science but I realized that undergraduate studies and experiments aren't really a real representation of how it's like in research so I had to quickly shift my mindset and adapt to how it's really like Another misconception is that you have to be really smart to become a researcher and that as a scientist you should know exactly what you're doing all the time. Well, that's not true. No one really knows exactly what they're doing. We struggle, we Google for a solution, we ask colleagues for help and learn from trial and error. Research really is more about figuring things out. All these high-tech, fancy equipments, I don't just suddenly know how to use these. I had to learn and I had to be patient with myself because they are complex, they are difficult to use and just with everything else you need to familiarize yourself with things and that obviously takes time so you need to be patient, you need to be willing to learn and also stay positive. A question that I always get asked is whether scientists work alone in the lab, not having any interactions with other people and just feeling isolated all the time. Research is actually very collaborative and you get to meet lots of new people all the time. You're constantly talking to lab mates, you're presenting to the team, you're attending conferences, meetings, lab meetings and when things don't work you usually would discuss it with your teammates and also like try to troubleshoot everything with them, discussing with them and it's such a good opportunity to kind of exchange ideas and see what else they've tried and what else that might be applicable to your situation which is quite nice and so I wouldn't say that you'd feel isolated. It's impossible to be isolated. And if you recall reading papers, there's always more than one author on papers and that really does show that collaborations are inevitable in science and that you won't ever be working alone. Um, well, obviously most of the time, but sometimes I know it's not very convincing now because I'm on my own, but I'm just doing the independent part right now. Usually I just hang out with them and also like just talk to them when I'm in the office or the lab. If you're watching this video and you're wanting to get into biochemistry or STEM subjects, I'd really recommend you to build a strong foundation in maths and science. And today I wanted to introduce to you guys an interactive online learning platform called Brilliant. So today's video is sponsored by Brilliant. Brilliant is an amazing platform because it helps you understand maths and science through doing and not just by memorizing. And this is what I always advise people to do because active learning is way more effective than passive or rote learning. Brilliant helps you become a better thinker and problem solver because it offers thousands of visual interactive lessons in maths, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. It has a perfect mix of engaging problems problems, competitive features, and daily encouragement to keep you motivated and on track. So if you're ambitious and you want to build a strong foundation in preparation for biochemistry, Brilliant is very helpful, especially in maths and science, because these are crucial subjects to master for biochemistry and STEM in general. Learning little by little every day is the most important thing you can do, both for personal and also professional growth. Brilliant will definitely keep you on track for reaching your learning goals one day at a time. Everything 
teaching is taught step by step with visuals and engaging problems with examples. So this would be perfect if you're wanting to prepare for university or you just wanted to understand some concepts a bit further. Having been in biochemistry for quite a while now, I could tell you that the topics offered within Brilliant is definitely a good starting point if you're someone that's interested in getting into biochemistry or STEM subjects in general. They make you think, they stimulate your brain and also get you to think into the right direction for these subjects. There's no harm in learning something new, so I really recommend you to start learning on Brilliant and get started on their lessons. To learn for free on Brilliant, scan my QR code or click the link in my description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium subscription which offers unlimited daily access to everything on Brilliant. Some people also think that lab life is constantly doing cool experiments, but in reality a big part of my day is actually waiting, waiting for samples to run, waiting for machines to finish, or even just waiting on results to process. This is when patience becomes one of your bigger skills. Oh and also, do you think that every day in the lab leads to some big exciting discovery, widespread recognition? Because if that's what you're thinking, well I need to tell you the truth. The truth is that most days are small steps. You might be organizing samples, you might be repeating your experiments with slight adjustments and variations to try out something new. That's what we call troubleshooting and you'll be learning from trial and error until something works. Obviously we all want breakthroughs and breakthroughs can happen overnight or weeks or months or even years sometimes. So it's really something that's unpredictable but all we can do is to work hard and also keep a positive mindset because every day you're trying something new and when something doesn't work that helps you filter out stuff that doesn't work and you won't go back to that again, so you're not starting from scratch, you're starting from experience and you're trying new things every day, you're getting closer to your results. The main point is to be consistent, be patient and you'll eventually get there. So that's it for today guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the video, I hope it's helpful. I just wanted to put some of the struggles that we face in research because there's really no point in glorifying or sugarcoating my work. I just want to put these out there for those who are interested in getting into the field so then you can have an insight of how it's like and not having to enter the field blindfolded. I also don't want you guys to have big differences between what you expect and how the reality is like. Lastly, I'll be doing a Q&A session, so if you guys have any questions or anything you want to know more about, please do let me know in the comments. And thank you so much again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.